Hey guys, Ash here. Welcome to Gen Sense. Today I'm coming at you with 10 sexy fragrances for the modern man. So these are fragrances that to me have a very modern twist or a modern edge. They're fragrances that in general are going to come across sophisticated, refined, sexy, and fragrances that may give off an air of wealth. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First up, I've got a Tom Ford. It's gray vetiver. This has notes of vetiver, grapefruit, oak moss, and additional woodsy notes. It's hard to do too much better than this one as far as sophisticated office fragrances go. And not that you would only wear that to an office. It's really versatile. It's very clean, modern, sophisticated, and a classy take on the classic note of vetiver. It's essentially a woody, earthy, citrus green fragrance that has super high versatility. You can wear it casually, you can wear it formally, you can wear it to the office, you can wear it at day, you can wear it at night. Very, very versatile. It opens up with citrus and vetiver. The citrus is a little bit effervescent. It's got a sparkle to it. And it dries down with woodsy notes, oak moss, and the star of the show, a clean vetiver. The feeling it projects is one of sophistication, refinement, and again, wealth. It's a modern classic with a throwback to yesteryear. Gray Vetiver by Tom Ford. Next up, I'm going to go with the Prada, the one that started off their loam line, Prada Loam. Some of the main notes here are iris, neroli, and amber. And for those of you out there that are unaware, iris gives off a scent that's similar to either lipstick or makeup. So because of that, Prada Loam sometimes is described as being more of a metrosexual scent. This is not something that screams out ultra masculine. But don't let that fool you, it's not a feminine fragrance, and on my skin it doesn't come across feminine at all. And while it does have a strong iris note, it's more a fresh fragrance than it is anything else. It opens up with dominant notes of neroli and pepper. And the initial feeling you get is that it's a sparkling, soapy, fresh, clean fragrance. Very pleasant and super inoffensive. It's another fragrance that's perfect for office wear. It's going to work in basically any office situation you could think of. This is one that I would say that you need to wear with confidence. And as long as you're able to do that, this is a fragrance that can pull compliments left and right. It gets very positive reactions from me. Fragrance is also very versatile, easily worn formally or casually, or again, to the office. It does lean more toward daytime wear just because it is a fresh fragrance. It stays clean and fresh pretty much the whole way through. Very classy, very modern, very clean Prada Loam. Next up is going to be the one that's the most people-pleasing or mass-appealing out of this whole list. It's the fragrance that basically started off or kicked off the whole blue fragrance wave that we're currently riding. Chanel Blue de Chanel. This one specifically is the Eau de Parfum. If you prefer the Eau de Toilette more, you could roll with that. Grapefruit, incense, and amber are some of the main notes here. Blue de Chanel to me, especially the Eau de Parfum, comes across as more of a mature take on the blue fragrance. And by blue fragrance, I do mean stuff like Sauvage, Versace Dillon Blue, Aqua Atlantique, things like that. The opening is a masterfully blended grapefruit with incense and ginger. Super appealing, ultra sexy, while the dry down introduces amber and the remnants from the incense from the opening, as well as some wonderful woodsy notes that just kind of wrap everything together. The Eau de Parfum is a little bit richer and mellower than the Eau de Toilette. It's a little bit more rounded off, a little bit more refined. I do like the Eau de Toilette just as much as the Eau de Parfum, but if I were choosing a Blue de Chanel to wear to the office or to wear formally or out to a date, I would probably reach for the Eau de Parfum over the Eau de Toilette. Extremely pleasing, ultra easy to pull compliments with this one. Blue de Chanel can work in literally any situation. And I mean that, you can wear Blue de Chanel to literally anything and it will work. It seems to get overlooked a little bit nowadays. All the other new blue releases seem to take precedence over this one. But everything about Blue de Chanel screams classy, modern, sexy, and cool. Bottle is sleek, modern, understated. It's going to look good in any collection, and the fragrance matches. Blue de Chanel. Next up, I'm going to do the other Iris fragrance in this collection. It is Dior Homme. Just the original, not Dior Homme Intense, not Dior Homme Parfum, just Dior Homme. This has notes of Iris, cacao, and leather, and this is a really rich, sweet, sexy fragrance. It does have a little bit of that lipsticky feel from the iris that we talked about before, but it's handled differently in this fragrance than it is in Prada Loam. Whereas Prada Loam goes for fresh, clean, and sophisticated, this one is deep, rich, and sexy. This fragrance has a propensity to really draw people in to make them want to smell it closer. In the dry down, you have a really smooth leather and a rich amber, adds just a touch more sweetness, and it just smells amazing. This one is more wearable in the day-to-day -day than Dior Homme Intense and Dior Homme Parfum. Whereas those ones are really relegated to nighttime formal wear and colder months, your own you can pull off in many more situations. 
You can wear it just as easily during the day as you can at night. This is another one that I think you have to wear with confidence, but it's a head turner that oozes sophistication and luxuriousness the whole way through. Do your own. That's gonna take me to my first Guerlain on the list, L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. This has started to pop up at discounters, so you can get it for a decent price now. Cherry, almond, vanilla, and leather are some of the main notes here. Out of everything I'm gonna go over in this list today, this is the one that I like wearing the most right now. It smells amazing. The entire L'Homme Ideal line is stellar. Cologne is best for spring and summer. This one is going to be best for fall and winter. Of the whole L'Homme Ideal line, this one is also the sexiest. And this is also the one that trends most to being the most modern, in my opinion. It's sweet. Off the top, you have cherry mixing with a bitter almond note that adds a little bit of creaminess. The cherry here smells really nice. It doesn't come across like a cough syrup or anything like that. I mean, the opening is great. It blows me away. In the dry down, you have a smooth leather mixing with vanilla and some additional spices. It wraps everything up in a really impressive fashion. This is another one that can be very, very easily worn formally or casually. And it should appeal to anyone out there looking for a sexy, sweet fragrance that leans masculine without going overboard on your typical masculine notes. It can easily be worn by younger guys or more mature guys, and it won't smell out of place on either one. Really good longevity and a certified compliment magnet. L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum, sophisticated, classy, sweet, sexy. Not much you can say negatively about this one. Next up is a fragrance that doesn't get talked about as much as it should. Cartier Declaration d'un Soir. I'm not gonna try to say that again. Rose, sandalwood, pepper, and cardamom, some of the notes here. So yes, this is a rose dominant fragrance, but don't let that scare you off. This is one of the classiest, sexiest, most elegant men's designer fragrances on the market. It opens with the spicy, fresh, clean, wet rose that is both pleasant and masculine. The pepper and cardamom provide some spice that help elevate that rose note in the opening. And in the dry down, that rose note is still there and it mixes with a nice creamy sandalwood. This is probably not necessarily what I would think of for the younger guys out there. I would say 25 and up. This one does come across ultra classy, refined, elegant, sexy, and it's definitely going to set you apart from what most people out there are wearing. Wear this in a suit and you're gonna be killing the game. And as an added bonus on discounters online, this is not all that expensive. Has a really good amount of versatility, just like lots and lots of the other ones on this list. Casual, formal office wear does it all. It's a modern men's rose fragrance that gets the job done, has you smelling great, will pull compliments, and it's gonna have you smelling different than everyone else out there. It's a great fragrance. Next one on this list is a modern classic. It's probably the most divisive one on this list. It gets a lot of love, but a lot of hate too. Hermes, Terre d'Hermes. Notes of orange, vetiver, grapefruit, pepper, and cedar. And like I said, it's a modern men's classic. Opens up with a dirty, earthy orange. Some people out there say it smells like a rotting orange. Personally, I don't get that, but I definitely do get the dirty, earthy, almost soil kind of scent in the opening with the orange. So this is obviously not taking that orange and trying to go the bright, refreshing, crisp route. The quality on this fragrance is through the roof. I mean, it is an Hermes. And the scent to me is timeless. And this is another one that probably is not going to really be for the younger guys out there. This is gonna be for the more mature guys, the more gentlemanly guys. I would say upper 20s and up. But you know, you do you. If you like to wear fragrances like that and you're a younger guy, go for it. And the versatility here, through the roof. All seasons, formal casual office, does it all. If you can roll with this one, if you like it, it will reward you with a sophisticated, enduring, classy scent trail that's going to give your whole ensemble a boost. A guy with a suit wearing Terre d'Hermes is basically the smell of success. It's another one of those ones that has a little bit of a classic backbone, but is still easily worn by the modern man. We're into the last three here, Dunhill Icon. Talked about this one a few times on the channel. The Icon line by Dunhill is really solid. This one is my favorite, the original. Neroli, bergamot, lavender, pepper, some of the notes here. And this has been compared before to Terre d'Hermes, the one we just talked about. But this takes that similar DNA and takes it in a different direction. The opening is awesome with citrus, white flowers, and pepper. It's fresh, a little bit uplifting, definitely refined and classy. And as it dries down, you have that earthy vetiver that it shares with Terre d'Hermes, with even a pinch of oud and some smooth leather. This one does lean a little bit more toward warm weather, but it's another fragrance that realistically you could wear all year round. And it's another one that you can wear day, night, casual, formal, or office. So whereas Terre d'Hermes goes a little more gentlemanly, a little more earthy, a little more pungent, Icon keeps 
keeps things a little fresher, a little lighter, a little more youthful. This is one that feels right at home with a white tee and jeans or in a three-piece suit. It's an amazing value because this is another one that you can find for not that much. Smells expensive, smells refined, smells sexy, and the bottle looks great in any collection. Dunhill Icon. Next up is one that some people may not immediately think of as a, a real modern men's scent nowadays, but in my opinion, it still is. Guerlain Lidge or launched onto Guerlain Extreme. Nowadays, the bottle has actually changed. It looks like this, and it's now called launched onto Guerlain Eau de Parfum. This is a vintage bottle, so they don't look like this anymore. Notes of cacao, patchouli, star anise, citrus, and sandalwood. And like I said, this is one that, in my opinion, is a modern classic. It opens with a semi-sweet chocolate that's a little bit bitter and a citrus undertone. But the opening isn't what makes this fragrance. It's the dry down. Patchouli and star anise in the dry down mix with just a gorgeous, soft, chocolate scent. It's ultra alluring, very, very sexy, just warm, inviting, it's gorgeous. It smells great. The dry down on this, A+. Not too loud, not too sweet, not too old school, not too new school. It strikes the perfect balance of just being a sexy nighttime scent. In my opinion, that's where this is best. It does have a little bit of that vintage classic touch, but done in a modern way. This may have been released nearly 15 years ago, but it still is going to set you apart, pull you compliments, have you smelling sophisticated and sexy and alluring, and is still a great reach, in my opinion, for the modern man. Guerlain, launched on to Guerlain. And that's gonna take me to the last one on this list, Bottega Veneta Pour Homme Extreme. Leather, pine, fur, and juniper are some of the notes here. This fragrance basically takes the classic, old school, masculine green fragrance and modernizes it. It gives it a twist, brings it into today's day and age, and makes it work. It has a timeless feel while still fitting in perfectly, whether you're going to the office or somewhere casually or formally. It opens with a solid amount of juniper and mixing with that green pine note. When it dries down, you get this masculine leather note that comes into the fore, but in the mid, there's an additional fur note that brings even more greenness into the composition. Essentially, it's a fresher, brisker, more modern take on the old school green classics. It does maybe lean a little bit more toward the more mature guys out there, again, upper 20s and up, just because it does have a little bit of a throwback feel with it being a green-centric masculine scent. But with that said, it doesn't smell dated at all, and I think realistically that younger guys could pull it off too. It's not really a loud scent. It's not something you'd wear if you're wanting it to project out heavily and get everybody's attention. It's more refined, conservative, and masculine. When you get near people, they're going to be able to pick it up, and it's gonna give off an air of sophistication, refinement, and sexiness. So yeah, this is for the guys out there that want a masculine green scent, but they don't want to end up smelling like their grandfather. Bottega Veneta Pour Homme Extreme. All right, guys, there we go. 10 fragrances that are sexy for modern guys. These are fragrances that, in my opinion, lean more classy, more sophisticated, more refined, giving off maybe an air of wealth or an air of success while being sexy at the same time. They're fragrances that aren't just trying to be as loud as possible. They're fragrances that are gonna pull people in. All 10 of those, in my opinion, are winners. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.